this morning. Tyres flat. Fridge. Not a fridge anymore. Because the battery's not working. And no water coming out of the tank. Which is a major problem. Anyway, we're hoping to get out to the lions and the buffalo very soon. If we can blow up our tyre. Chitake Springs at the height of the dry season. Every creature from the smallest termite to the beefiest buffalo and the sweatiest human, i.e. us, is stupefied by heat. We're all searching the bleached sky for signs of the first summer storm. The only water for miles bubbles from the ground beneath the sand and mud of the Chitake River. Shaded by fig and mahogany in the soft light of dawn, baboon, buffalo, lovebird, parrot, dove, antelope and myriad others gather to slake their thirst, despite the ever-present threat of the Chitake lions lying in the shade of the croton bushes.
quite a lot of wind out here this morning. We are looking at some baobabs in a great group of baobabs. There are six or seven of them. Stunning views over to the escarpment there, down which we came yesterday. And although I wouldn't describe this light as particularly beautiful, I do find there's something eerily wonderful about this time of day and these great ancient giants that have been watching this area for so many thousands of years. There is a baobab and the two cars we've come in. My wife, Kirsten, is sitting in the right-hand car, the passenger seat, staring out at the pair of binoculars, father-in-law, and one mother-in-law looking out of the other car. We're hoping for some spine tails in these baobabs, but as yet have not found any spine tails in these baobabs. Baboons seem to be shouting off towards Chitake Springs, so I think we'll head that way and see if the lions have not arrived. We are waiting for the buffalo to come down the central entry point to the Chitake Springs. We are told they're coming. Frank is over to the right in amongst some bushes in the next floor. picture of a mayor's parrot eating the fruits of the Natal mahogany Trichelia emitica. It's called Trichelia emitica because it's supposed to make human beings vomit, emetic. I hope it doesn't have the same effect on Mr. Mayor's parrot. This is Barry. Barry is a subdominant male baboon and has as yet not achieved the status of dominant baboon. He is hoping to achieve it, but 
in the meantime, he must grow strong on the periphery, eating as much as possible so that he can challenge the big male one day, either by himself or in a group. Barry looks a little depressed. Don't worry, Barry. Not all of us can be top dog. multi-species shot of helmet guinea fowl, impala and baboon, as well as a number of bird species, including the carmine bee eater, the meaves glossy starling, possibly the old sparrow, quite far away, difficult to say. That cute cow looks very alarmed. What's happened? Where are you going? What have you seen? Ah, humans. Humans on top of the bank. There we go. Nice and relaxed. That's a wide shot of them all gambling about. Baboons, kudus, impalas, guinea fowls. In the meantime, Barry continues his solitary sojourn over there. Poor Barry. Hi, Barry. mantle on the back of his head. He looks a little bit like a biker. Maybe he's just a bit too rebellious. You a biker, Barry? Barry the biker baboon. I see he has extended his lips to come. I'm not sure that that's going to win him any, any friends. before we leave. The left rear tyre seems to have some sort of puncture problem. We're now blowing it up as we did yesterday. We should get to Chitake Springs where the lions and buffalo are no doubt having a fight at about 10 o'clock this morning.
sitting on this little prominent tree, 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 pro, pro, prominent tree underneath a whole lot of Natal mahoganies uh, in the morning. I think the sun's come up, it's quite a lot of cloud. Wind is howling and there is a lot of baboon shouting behind us. And the lions are lying up on the bank, sort of two ridges along, We're hoping maybe they'll come down during the course of the morning. We're also hoping we won't get eaten if they do. Just over the top of that hill there, we have seen some bufalos, and we are hoping that they will come down to have a drink here at Chitake Springs. Thus far, we've seen some dust come over the hill, possibly, in fact, almost certainly, a result of the howling gale that has persisted since yesterday. <coughs> and also, the odd helmeted guinea fowl. I can hear them, here they come, here they come. I can see one. There is a beef. Dust from the herd of buffalo, driven mad with thirst in the drought. Thankfully it's cooler today than it was yesterday. Quite reticent about this, and I think it's because of the potential for there to be a lot of lion in the area. She's carrying about 78 oxpeckers. She is the pathfinder.
That pool there is where the spring is, where the water seeps up and fills this area. That's where all the carmine bee eaters were, where they come and do most of their diving and bathing. Spectacular. And the guineas are coming back to have a drink now that the beef are heading away. And now it is time for us to also head away to Mana Pools. Goodbye beefy, goodbye final beefy, goodbye final beefy, oh, oh, oh. beefy, beefy. Packing up, packing up to go to Mana Pools, packing up, packing up to go to Mana Pools. We have been at Chikaki, we have been at Chikaki, we have been at Chitaki, Chitaki, Chaki, Tee, Tiki, Chiki, Tee, where we saw some beefalo. And now we go to Mana Pools. Okay, let's hope that nothing breaks on the way there. Chitaki 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 chitikare Chitaki 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 Monkeys here are completely... Watch out behind you. <laughs>